people are paying attention to, and I think they should be more cognizant of it. When you're playing a character like Captain Falcon, the way that he's transitioned from forward to this, you have to be aware of it because you don't have those uh, those throw transitions that you used to have. So you gotta take every little bit of that animal and uh, cook it how you can. Yep. Alrighty, so now we got our Wednesday Night Fight rematch here. It's gonna be quick and tag. So we'll see how this goes down. I believe Quick won 3 1 yesterday and went to next fight, so we'll have to see what they go for against each other here. And it looks like they're switching up their characters. I believe yesterday they played Inkling Samus, and now they're going Politan and Zero Suit instead. Alright, I will be right back for the set. I'm excited. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Let's see how these two are on the round start. Coming off these platforms here. Oh, immediately with the Zero, is they actually able to catch. Uh, coming back from this platform, actually. And we're returning back to neutral, only a very slight lead, and wow, just kickflips right over the auto reticle. I don't know if he read that or just kind of predicted that Chag was gonna go for that neutral um, option, but that worked out really nicely for him. Kickflip, yeah, shape on shield. Again, you have to be able to read that drift, but it's very difficult to do that, especially in the beginning of the game where you don't know how they quite like to mix up that recovery option. And of course, we are still seeing Quick proficient in his beer reverses with this character too. You can do beer reverse and wavebound paralyzers, and that catches a lot of pressure and a lot of characters off guard as well. Oh, try to kick the right over the auto reticle again. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be something Chag's got to be careful of because he can get blown up very easily if he starts whipping that in neutral. Okay, up tilt. Pick him back up. What's the option going to be? Okay, goes for the fourth tilt. Still keeping up the controls here. I like that attempt from Quick. Instead of trying to catch a recovery, try to catch the option afterwards. Doesn't quite work out. But catches the dash stance, and that's going to be able to set up into the very into the up beat. Very nice lead for Quick here. And it's a very nice way to take out that stock as well. Ooh, the pressure on Chag's shield right now. He's very hesitant to try to go for a shield option. Instead, he's trying to return back to neutral. But quick. Oh, going for the. <laughs> Looking for the tea bag right there too. Maybe trying to elicit a reaction out of him. Works out just fine. Actually gets the nair into the down beat. Doesn't quite get the spike hitbox though. But intercepts it in the air again. Quick doing an amazing job of keeping up this lead. Already three stocks to one here. Chag's got to make something happen because this zero suit is... Give me for using that over a few word right now. All right. Looks like uh, Quick's putting in a lot of work right now. Yep. Oh. oh, okay. There we go. Finally getting a stock to his name here. He kept his jump, and we got the platform cancels coming from Jack. Very impressive tech coming in right now. Yeah, uh, apparently it's a lot easier for Palutena to do this time around. I don't know exactly why, but uh, that's looking pretty clean from Jack. Trying to get those nair trains going into the up air. Not quite gonna be able to connect. Gets that tech on the platform to recover himself. Ooh, nice conversion forward air into back air. And those shield moves, the dash attack and the back air from Felton. Very potent. Very potent. And I think uh, back air is definitely one of the better uh, out of shield options that Palutena has. Even though it's not something you're going to be a whole lot. Jack is doing a very good job of fixing himself up and catches them in the air with that up smash. Very smart attack. In that entire sequence leading up to the, at the ledge, he was able to keep up his shield pressure and instead of trying to go for a safe aerial on shield, waited for him to elicit the jump out of shield by just doing an empty hop and he was able to extend that into the kill. Very smart coming from Chag. Oh, trying to get some different versions here other than Nair to Nair, trying to go from Nair to back air. I respect it. Oh. Him, intercepts him one more time, got the whiff, but doesn't able to get the punish. Chag with the fastball, quick, not ready for it, it looks like. Okay. And it looks like uh, a lot of Zero Suit Samus are using forward tilt at the ledge here. Just as a nice little uh, get off me option. Very safe as well. Yeah, it's very quick, so you're able to be able to use that to keep people off a few in boxing scenarios. The empty hop into the jab pressure. Doesn't commit afterwards. Tries to catch an option afterwards, but Chag able to roll through just fine. I love that uses of the Zare too from the Zero Suit Samus. It almost looks safe even at point blank range, but I have a hard time believing it actually is. Oh. Oh. Actually gets that down tilt on the pickup. This is a big opportunity for Chag, oh. and he goes a little bit too low. But that's just the game. That's the pressure, and that's just the there putting too much emphasis on where Quick wanted to be. So that was the he, kill. Uh, you think he went for a Zair there, trying to tether? No, I don't think so. He was way too far for that. Yeah. I think he, I think he was just not in the right position, and he didn't have enough resources to get around that landing there. Ah well.
Yeah, uh, did he run out of downbeat? Uh, either way, still, that, uh, that was unfortunate. You definitely don't expect to see him go like that. But right, on to game go. two. Yep, I believe, uh, yeah, you're gonna have to we with the winners in the best of five, so that's gonna be game one going to Chag. Actually, big three stock to one comeback, actually. I was so, gonna say, that's impressive. a huge testament. That's a huge testament to their skill, just the fact that they were able to keep that composure and play the game safely and play it right. Yeah. The way I see it on three stock to one comebacks, usually if you don't get past 50% on your very last stock, you still have hope. Afterwards, it gets kind of hard. But here we go, goes for an air change this time around, finally gets the up air oh. into the second up air. Does he go for a third one? No, he just waits for the down BT exhausted before he tries to go in for another option. But it doesn't quite work out there, but he still gets 58%, very nice though. That almost looked easy. <laughs> Okay, but right now, quick. Oh, I like that Nair, trying to cover as many options as possible with the uh, position that he had. Use that directional air dodge to get around explosive flame, very nice stuff. He's trying to box. do that jab pressure on shield, but now Chag is adapting and using those Nairs out of shield instead to catch him off guard. Yeah, that hasn't really been working on Chag, even in game one from what I can see. Oh, there we go, there's that platform cancel. Yeah, and Quick doing everything in his power to avoid getting hit by that up air. Up air is very nasty. It always has been. Neutral air puts him off stage. He's just going to go right underneath. Ooh. Being able to hit the ledge with that down okay. Good, Good recovery for the most part. Still getting caught, but uh, showing awareness. Unfortunate from Quick. It is one of those things where if you press buttons a little bit too much, then you're going to get caught by explosive flame eventually. But still, keeping a relatively even pace so far, Quick trying to finish off the stock before things get too oh. hairy, and he's going to do just that with the side B. Got the ledge uh, jump up. Okay, trying to catch that down B with the back air of his own. Not really too much there. Now Quick trying to use that down B movement to uh, instead a different reaction, and it actually causes him to whip auto reticle that time around. He's able to get a quick punish with that boost kick. Oh yeah, that auto reticle has some serious end lag on it. Ooh, okay. I like uh, the pivots here. These nares looking pretty clean. Oh, landing up air. That's actually really big. Doesn't get the accession on the platform, unfortunately. Not gonna oh, continue on with anything else, though. That was a very rare counter. Didn't quite work, but uh, still. Nice, yeah, we see Chad going for that rather often. Going for the up B platform cancel into the back air. Get that lightning fair. Not able to follow up with anything else, though. No tick chase situation. And he's down so back at the ledge one more time. That down beat not gonna be able to, it's not down beat, down smash can down be there the next. And a very committal dash attack. That's just gonna be a free kill for Quick right there. Oh yeah, look at this movement. Look at this movement! Wow, okay, down throw into back air. Looking pretty good. Yep! Oh my goodness, now tilt in the back air. This back air seems to be just the bread and butter for this character. You gotta be very careful about if your moves don't quite sweet spot to the ledge because that down tilt lasts a very long time and can catch people off guard and it sets up very nicely into the back air, like you said. Very true. Oh yeah. No, and that uh, that get up attack was able to cancel that down tilt pretty, really well. You could also roll past it. There are definitely a lot of options and I think uh, Chag is very committed to doing that down tilt. He's got the option though. Quick forward tilt out of the boxing scenario. Auto reticle stuffs him out so he returns back to neutral. And he tries to come back in, but Chag's gonna get a back throw instead. I like how he waited for Quick to try and come back to him to start off the aggression, and that gave Chag enough time to reposition himself, and he's able to react to what he was trying to do, and then get that back throw to take the kill. Yeah, very strong back there, or back throw. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe he was trying to uh, get Chag to DI a little bit. Like, he was trying to get him onto the platform and get a check chase situation here. That's unfortunate, Auto Radical caused a trip, so that was a free explosive flame, basically. Unless Quick did a roll instead. Ooh, that's there. Yeah, it sets up for so much. Ooh, threatening with the back air, too. Seriously, sometimes short hops can just scare your opponent. Alright, now we got himself on the ledge here. Another big opportunity for Quick. Still not going to be able to do it with the, with the back air. Got another quick opportunity here. Parry's the last hit of the that side B. Very smart. Oh yeah, very good awareness of where he was. Okay. Dash attack, and be able to catch those landing aerials. Because of that armor that's available to it. And actually a big trade there. Doesn't commit to anything off of that down B. 
A little bit awesome. too scared. Ah. Ah. Is this best of five? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> you know, even... Did, uh, I, I wasn't able to see the whole thing, but did uh, Chag SD at all in the first uh, first game? No, it was just quick, doing a good job of taking socks. <laughs> all right, then. All righty, here we go. Going back to PS2. I wonder if either of these two are eventually going to do a character switch. Doesn't look like they're going to go this time around, though. Hmm. I wonder... Uh... I wonder why Quick decides to go zero suit against Valentina. I can see why. I mean, counter is not a huge part of the matchup, but it's still very much a part of the matchup. For sure. They might have done blind pick and they just ended up committing to this. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe they don't want to practice their other character because they played the other one yesterday night. We'll have to see. But anyways, Quick did a good job of getting some early percent off of that. Uh, just reading Chag's defensive options at the ledge there. Yeah, I really love this exhibition of patience from both of these players when it comes to their combos. Like, they are not going to ham. They they get their hit, they wait to see what the option is, and then they react to it accordingly. Yeah, and I think a really good job that both of these players do, they elicit the reactions out of their opponents most of the time. You'll see Quick, he'll go for like a narrow or forward air, and he's got the advantage position, but he doesn't immediately just try to hit them. He'll like do a dash dance, he'll do a dash back, he'll do a down B or something to try to elicit a reaction, and then he gets a punish afterwards on it. Oh yeah, and that's really smart. Like that right there, he did a dash back, and then he caught him jumping to get out of that position, and he's able to intercept him with the back air immediately after. Oh yeah, and that's a very hard thing to be able to do confidently unless you're at a level that these players play at, because a lot of the time when you get a hit, you kind of want to just keep converting, uh, confirming off of it, but uh, a lot of the time you get a hit, you have the frame advantage, and you don't really have to do too much. I mean, in this game, full hop and double jump are one of those things where it's a lot easier, or that's the main thing you want to punish because it's such a good option. It's like punishing roll in Smash 4, basically. Yep, that's very true. Yeah, they say uh, full hopping is a new roll. Oh, good parry, but wow, I'm very surprised Jab was not able to connect. We only have a plus three frame advantage. I think Politan's jab might be a little bit too slow for that. If yeah. He their opponent's face properly, but that down B, that should be able to be able to get the stock at another three stock to one lead right here for quick. All right, Chag taking a deep breath. He can, he can still do this. We've seen him bring it down to one stock each time. Okay, there's that grab. Okay, now going for the back throw. It makes sense, it wouldn't have killed. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> just kind of tripped up Aladino. That was a funny animation. Yeah, it looked like he pulled out counter and it just didn't quite work the way he wanted to, which is unfortunate. Yeah, yeah the counter didn't last as long as the up smash itself, which is kind of ridiculous. Okay, getting that though. You can see a forward air maybe? No, okay, I like the idea to get it up there. Wow. Okay, it's a trade out. It actually worked out very nicely for quick. He's gonna be oh, stuck yeah. at the ledge though, and he gets a little committal, but Jack not ready for it. Goes for the four tilt instead, just fix the next best option and try wow. and punish. Nice down B into this air as well. Yeah, knowing that you're going to be able to switch your position here. Switching the way that you're facing when you do there. Be able to come back up to the stage, but that board still to cover a lot of space and it can catch jumps and last a very long time. So, very good option for the tag actually to be able to intercept that stock. That was such a quick grab from Quick right out of the gate. Okay, yeah, looking pretty nice with that board air. This is really big. We have a limit of options from uh, from Chag here. But now Chag is the one turning in tables. Okay, there's that grab. Up air. Oh, Not no. able to follow up with the back air. Got a DI mix up there. Could have gone for up air, but those are the only things where he didn't quite react to, I don't think. But he gets a tech chase into a jab instead. Ooh, taking as much as he can out of that jab. I don't blame him at all. Wow, Zare being able to connect with two of those auto reticles before the third one landed. Yep. Hot cha cha. So that's going to be able to end for Quick in a two-stock, actually. And now he's up, or he's got one game left, rather, I should say, before he moves on to Winner's Finals. And he looks like he's been doing a good job of controlling the match. That first game might have just been a choke on Quick's part, just because he thought maybe he got too comfortable with that three-stock to one lead, and yeah. then Chag brought it back. But this time around, he kept his cool, kept his composure, and just kept what he was doing the entire match, not letting himself get opened up, didn't press too many buttons. We saw a quick adaptation, actually, in the very end of that game where he got sent in sex chase situation off to the edge of the ledge and instead of pressing a button he just stood still and then that allowed him to react to the flicker of the explosive flame knew that he was going to be in range and he was able to return back to neutral position where he's able to continue on his pressure and good going back into how Jack was trying to play neutral. Yep, just throwing out that nice safe damage. As soon as you, as soon as you, like I said, I really like the way that these guys are moving around. Like they really don't have to commit to too much as soon as they get that frame advantage. Uh, they, they know what they're doing. I like the, the way that they exploit their position. 
very high awareness of uh, the game itself. Three, two, one, okay, we're switching to go. regular old Samus. I like it. There's a very wise stage available to him, so I, I'm not 100% surprised. And yeah, this is the game that I was expecting from Quake. I guess in this matchup, he's a little bit more comfortable. You're going to see a lot of middle charge, charge shot, baby charge shot, missiles. They build a zone out, excuse me, box out, or excuse me, in the mid range, keep your opponent out, uh, and just wall out your opponent. It's fairly harder to die uh, uh, to up air from Valentina, so there is that to consider as well. <laughs> just shooting through all the pomegranates. Yep, uh, the charge shot does, is able to actually go through a lot of different options. Yeah, and the like missile too, apparently. <laughs> missile is able to mix up too because you have the hard missile and the soft missile. So you can mix up timings on that and elicit pressure on your opponent. Especially with soft missile because it moves at such a slow pace. You can have it follow behind you while you're trying to pressure your opponent. But the bomb setup into the charge shot. Very nice kill setup coming from quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and like you were saying, those missiles really do a number on the shield as well. It, so many nice things about it. We do have the reflector, however, so there is something to, to be said about that. Oh, that was interesting. I wonder if the counter was intended, but uh, a lot of yeah, the time I... He, he was doing that a lot on game one. He was doing, like, counter, or excuse me, the, the platform cancel from up B into counter to try and catch his opponent being aggressive. Wow, intercepts him in the air with that charge shot. Amazing stuff so far. You know, I, I respect the drift that Chegg had there, but he still ended up getting caught by that charge. Okay, nice the conditioning wait. there. He had the full charge shot, but he went for the grab instead, catching that neutral getup. Very smart from Quick. And he's almost done taking out this next stock. He's just got to figure out his way back to the ledge before he thinks about it. That forward air. And you know, that, that tiny hurt box that Samus now has when she does her up beat, it's a lot harder to get hit by that down throw. It can be done, but it's a little harder. That's very interesting. It looked like Jack had a free up air there, but maybe he was catching, he was expecting like some kind of drift, but that didn't quite happen for quick. Another grab, gonna be able to set it up into a fourth throw. Now we got another scary situation where the bomb is ready in hand, and he has oh? a charge shot available to him, but he doesn't go for it actually. Doesn't quite hit confirm into it. I thought for sure we were gonna see that charge shot. Oh, there's that down tilt. Just like you said, it can't be done. Okay, shot, putting that shield down to a marble. Yeah, it was mainly to keep Chag off of him so that he can try to come back to the stage, but Chag still kept up the pressure, decided to space away and quick, try to retain back center stage, and he got a pivot grab instead. Oh, nice avoidance of all of these attacks here from Chag. Okay, these bombs are making it tough. Oh, thank goodness for that platform though, huh? Oh yeah, that's punish time. Look at that up tilt. Into the up there. Second one, are we gonna see a third? Probably not. We're gonna see a little bit of waiting, or we're getting kicked with a nair. Yep. Still living. Uh, usually the Nair in the back here, very good walling out tools for Samus, and it's decent to be able to land you 200%, that would finally be able to do the stock, actually. Nair is just a walking wall, or, or, or Samus is just a walking wall. Okay. <laughs> I, like how he, I like how he doesn't have Charge Shot completely committed, so that he can mix it up with some decent damage with that, or he instead he could go for like B-reverses or wave bounces. That's a good observation, yeah. That's, a, that's very much so what he's probably doing. Oh, oh, I remember that happening in Smash 4, yeah. That's actually the first time I've seen it live in this game, so very Same. interesting to see. Same, I remember it would kill people at like 10. Like, oh, please don't do that. Oh, the pair, wow, it, it's, it still acts like a perfect shield where it will just like send it in any old direction. It's yeah, no, it'll bounce off on the shield. It depends on the property, but that can happen too. I really like what Quick tried to do there. He tried to mix it up from the air, mix up the timing, then go for the startup of the charge shot instead. Wasn't able to quite find it, but still, very decent size lead. Any very strong hit from Samus could kill potentially at the ledge. Mm, good nair trying to get some quick air to find it. Ah, man, that poor air. Yeah, getting caught with that down to all the time. I think Quick uh, has a little bit of an issue with that. I think that time around, he was just too far from the light, so he couldn't sweet spot it the way he wanted to, so he just got clipped there. Yeah. Okay, nice cross-up attempt. Still knowing that he's gonna have center stage, uh, Chag. Oh, that crap, that was perfectly spaced. Okay, and these bombs always cause trouble. Yeah, we saw him trying to do, we saw, we saw him do the up tilts to Shasta earlier to catch the neutral getup. Not quite gonna work out here, but the bomb pressure, not gonna commit to that hit confirm, but he's still got a decent side lift, and Still not gonna do it. Except it's kind of hard to control sometimes in a very high pressure situation. If you press it too hard, then it goes too far. So uh, I think that's one of what Chag tried to go for. He tried to go for a short one, but it ended up being a long one instead. Yeah, it's a little harder to do in this game. Oh, the down tilt taking it. Yep, into the stratosphere you go. Very nice stuff, quick. 
Yeah, that's gonna be a 3 1. Jack checking his head a bit, but that's probably why he came early, you know? Get that experience, get that practice in for the first like, four locos or so.